Hey there, Leos. This is going to be your reading for December 17th, 2020. Um, let's, well, start with my gratitude. Thank you for um, subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, any, any interaction with this channel. I appreciate it. Um, we're going to ask that Divine White Light, our angel spirit guides, and higher self, if that's, you know, if that's willing to come down through this reading. We want to get the message that's for the highest good for the sign of Leo. And if you would like a private reading or feel like supporting the channel, check the description box below. Let's get started. We're going to start off with the Guardian Angel deck. Just kind of like mixing things up a little bit. Let's start off with your Guardian Angel. What does your angel have to say to you? We have two. Okay. Okay. Um, angel of Inspiration and Angel of Music. Okay. Angel of Music. This can sometimes be about people um, who are inspired by spirit to write music. But it can be people that write poetry, too. Talking about turning so uh, poems into songs. Uh, this is a reminder to you that you need to put music back into your life. Um, notice now is the time for you to connect to music so that it raises your vibrations. And when you raise your vibration, you can change more easily what you see around you. This angel may be here to inspire you to write and create music of your own. Uh, the greatest composers, musicians, songwriters have been assisted by this angel. And your affirmation is, I find peace and solitude through listening to music. Music speaks to my soul and inspires me to fulfill my life purpose. All right. And then 18. Angel of inspiration. This angel comes when... Spirit has noticed your true potential in you, like the light that's inside of you, and uh, wants you to know that instead of being inspired by others, that you can inspire people too. That you have the ability to inspire people too. Okay, let's see. Let's get some, let's get some tea leaves. And we'll see. Be interesting to know if there is any songwriters or um, musicians. There we go. All right, tea leaves for Leo for the seventeenth. Yes, seventeenth December. Ooh. Okay, that's probably enough. We have younger man dealings or relationship with a younger man. Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. A me meeting with a stranger could be important. Scales. Keep your life in balance. So it reminds me of Libra a little bit too. Scales. And then uh, sunrise, which is, you know, your ruling planet. New creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. Wow. That's nice. That's like the full energy, but with a po more positive tone to it. Um, maybe talking about another fire sign too. Leo Aries Sag. All right, Leo, let's get Kim Cran's archetype now. This will be from our archetype deck from the Wild, the Wild Unknown series. All right, for Leo's highest good for the 17th December, 2020. Oh. Oh, the seed. That's nice. That's the beginning of your manifestation. That is like the very start. And, it, and when it talks about the seed, the book talks about how even a big oak tree is fully present within the seed, even when it's a seed. So just know that your success, that your all these positive vibrations, um, they're yours and they're planting seeds for something really amazing to bloom from that. 
It's whatever you are manifesting. Whatever you are manifesting. So that's nice too. Good reading so far. Leo, good reading. Let's get you an energy card or a few energy cards, whatever wants to pop out. All right. Okay, for Leo. Oh, nice. I'm going to stick with that and I'm going to leave it there. Happy family. Oh, I like that card. It's like my favorite card. Happy family. Happy family. I mean, this is like your, this is like your 10 of cups sneaking into the reading, you know, saying that, um, whatever it is, the seed that you're planting, whether it's beginning a new family could be that, or could be talking about business or career. Something is being started. That's going to ultimately affect the family dynamics and result in a happy family. So that's, that's good. That's real good. Good reading so far. Let's get a wisdom of the oracle. See if we can get anything else for Leo. For my Leos for this 17th, 2020. Whoop. All right. Wisdom of the oracle for Leo. 16th. Oh. 17th, sorry, 17th. Exchanging gifts. Wow. It's all very nice. <laughs> and, you know, Christmas coming up, I'm sure uh, that might have something to do with it. But not just that. Let me look in the book for you because there's something a little bit more about it. Um, 27. Okay, it means the law of giving and receiving. So you could look at this as your six of pentacles. Currency, trade-offs, weighing cost, and determining value. It says you've entered a productive and enriching time when all manner of opportunities are being offered to you. You have everything you need to seize them. A little bit of the magician in here too. It says you must put in time and exchange your experience and skills and commit heart and soul to what you're choosing to pursue. Use your currency wisely and be mindful of the value that others bring into your life. That's nice. That's nice. All right, let's do the tarot now. See what we get with the tarot for our Leos. What is the issue, the main issue that the tarot wants to point out? main issue making that money honey making that money king of pentacles could be talking about a taurus virgo or capricorn um, but this is about your stability and your family stability and maybe something that you're planting is going to lead to that too Th these are very similar energies right he can take care of well the masculine energy is about creating so it's like creating your pentacles, your stability, your family stability. What is the challenge? Ooh, okay. Here's a challenge. See, same thing. Past spirit advice, and we'll get um, we'll get the outcome card too while we're at it. The outcome. All right. So, we have the Seven of Pentacles as being the challenge to the King of Pentacles. That is the beginning stage. It's the seeds that you are planting. It's waiting and watching your crops grow. Sometimes this is like a contemplation card, but I don't see it as a contemplation card. I see it as past work that you know is going to pay off past work that you know is paying off it's going to pay off and it's just kind of i think he's content looking at that all right past way of dealing with things you may have had this look inspiration that's exactly what that is inspiration it is inspiration oh nice 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 spirit advice so inspiration in the past maybe there was an opportunity there was an opportunity to like plant a seed to get something started 
and I think you took that opportunity, and that might be why that's in the past. The judgment, um, I consider this to be about many things. Um, first aid, divine assistance to people, um, forgiveness of yourself, forgiveness of other people, and also when you forgive, it's like getting a second chance. So I do think of second chances, just in particular with me, this card can mean that. And it could be a Sagittarius too. All right, probable outcome, probable outcome is the justice card. Things will be made fair, Leo. Whatever has been unfair in the past, things will be made fair. And you see the scales right there too. Yeah, so we could be talking about a Libra, but most likely this is about the actions that will be taken um, are going to be to balance everything out. And it will balance out. And it has to do with your family structure. All right, guys, that's what I got for you for the 17th. Sending much love and light out to you. Thank you.